Hey people, this is Noel with creationeffects.com and in this super quick tutorial I'm going to show you how to make 3D text in After Effects. That is, text with a 3D extrusion which works with your camera layer so that you can view it at different angles. I'm going to show you how to make it and at the end I'll also tell you where to download this effect as a free After Effects preset so that you can always apply this effect to your text in the future with just a click of a button. Alright, so if you think way back you might remember when your dad sat you down and told you that it wasn't possible to make 3D text in After Effects. Well, your dad was lying to you the whole time. It is possible, just not through conventional methods. You have to hack After Effects a little bit. I know there are quite a few people who discovered how to do it using the shatter effect. Well, there are at least five other ways that I found, and I'm going to share with you one of them right now, which uses the CC vector blur effect to make an extrusion. So as the French say, without further ado, let's get started. I'm in After Effects and I'll grab the text tool. I'll choose a light blue color here. It can be any font you want. I've got something kind of cartoony here and I'll just write out some text. Um, I could write out my website, which is creationeffects.com, but I don't want to promote myself like that while doing a tutorial because that's really annoying. So I won't write out my website, which is creationeffects.com. I'll just write something uninspired like 3D text. Next, I'll get the CC vector blur effect. With my layer selected, I can double click that effect. I'll set the type to direction fading. I'll set amount to 50. The angle of the extrusion will be eventually automatic uh, and it will depend on our camera position, but for now I'll set it to 60 degrees, set revolutions to zero, and I'll set property to alpha. So you can see we have these fading streaks which will become our extrusion, and if I play with the amount I can adjust the length of the extrusion, but it's difficult to see, so let's add a levels effect. I'll switch the channel to alpha so it affects the transparency and I'll crank up that alpha channel by dragging the right arrow all the way over to the left side, or I can just set alpha input white to zero. And are you with me so far? No? Okay, good. Let's keep going. If I zoom, we can see some messy edges, so let's clean those up by adding a matte choker effect, and we'll keep the settings at their default. So this is fantastic, uh, except that it's not. There's no details or sense of depth at all, and that's because the CC vector blur effect is just extruding a solid color because our text is a solid color. Let's add some highlights and shadows to the extrusion by adding a bevel alpha, bevel alpha? Bevel alpha effect, and we'll place that on the text layer before all the other effects. Edge thickness will affect the contrast. I'll set that to 5. Light angle can be whatever you think looks best. I'm going to set it to negative 60. Then, if you want, you can go to Window, and then Mask Interpolation. Then at the very bottom of the Mask Interpolation panel, you'll see this button that says First Vertices Match, and you can click that. I don't know what that is or what it does, but if you want, you can click it. Next, we need to overlay our original text on top of this extrusion to cover up these weird stripes that are crossing over our text. We could duplicate the layer, and on the top layer we could delete all the effects, but why would I do that when I can keep it all on one neat and tidy layer? So there's an effect that will composite the original layer without all the effects on top of what you created. It's called CC Composite. Now let's add a camera layer by going to Layer, New, Camera. And I'll make sure my camera is named Camera 1 so that later on our expressions will work. And I'll make the text layer 3D by clicking this Enable 3D button. And you don't have to do this part, but just to help us see how our camera is moving around, I'm going to quickly add a 3D background to our scene. I'll create a new solid layer by going to Layer and New and Solid. I'll make it 3D and I'll move it back about a thousand pixels. I'll add a ramp effect to give it a gradient and I'll set ramp shape to radial ramp and I'll make it go from a bright orange in the middle to black on the edges. Now I'll add a turbulent noise effect. I'll set the effects of blending mode to multiply so that we can see our color through the texture and I'll turn the opacity down to about 25%. So now we have this subtle cloud texture. I'll scale that way up to something like 500% so we'll still see it when we move the camera. I'm also going to add a light layer which will make this text look a little nicer and I'll make it a point light and make it a pale yellow. And you can see on our text, it looks like light is coming from the top left. So I'll move my light layer somewhere in the top front left corner of my scene. And now when I click the camera tool, or type the shortcut, which is C, I can click and drag to orbit my camera, and it doesn't work. Our extrusion angle is not reacting to the camera's position. 
So open up the description for this video and you'll see an expression. It's a paragraph of code. Copy that paragraph and then open up the CC Vector Blur effect on your text layer and Alt-click the Angle Offset property. That will open up the expression box for that property and then just click anywhere in that box and paste the expression. So how does that expression work, you ask? Well, it works simply by being the way that it is. All right, let's try this again. And I'll orbit my camera around and you can see it's now behaving like real 3D text. You can animate this camera to move in or out or side to side or orbit all the way to almost 180 degree angle, but not behind it, unfortunately. And you could also move the text around in 3D space and the extrusion angle will update with that as well. And I can go into my CC vector blur effect and change the length of the extrusion if I want. But there are some limitations, which you can maybe see if I make this really long. First, uh, you can see some stripes on the extrusion. And second, the extrusion lines will always be parallel rather than converging into a single point in the background, which would be more realistic. But neither of those will be too noticeable as long as you keep the extrusion relatively short. Also, another limitation of this effect is the extrusion will always be the length that you set it to. So even if you move the camera in front of the text, realistically, that extrusion should get shorter and shorter and even disappear if you were directly in front of the text. But you can see that doesn't happen automatically. So you may need to keyframe the amount property to make that extrusion shorter as your camera moves in front of the text, if you've animated your camera. All right, I promised you a preset so that you can always quickly access this 3D extrusion effect in your future projects and apply it to layers with a simple double click. So I put a link in the description uh, to the webpage for Creation Title Effects, which is an After Effects template with 200 custom titles. It's a very handy tool for anyone who uses text in After Effects. The 200 presets cover lots of different themes, lots of 3D options, and uh, you'll always have nice looking, ready to go titles for every kind of project and you can just click on the text to edit it and you can change the fonts to whatever you want and uh, customize the look of the title with slider controls. So you can watch the demo video for that. It's at the link in the description. And if you scroll all the way to the bottom of that page, you'll see a link to download the preset and you'll see some instructions there on how to install it. And then you'll always be able to access it in your effects and presets panel in After Effects. That's all I got for you. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more tutorials and also demo videos for new products.